I'm Claire Smith, I'm Chef Patron of Restaurant Gordon Ramsay in Chelsea. Today I'm going to show you a dish that actually has just gone on the menu, so far a la carte menu, it's a starter, and it's a, a cœur de boeuf tomato tartare. You take tomatoes, incredibly ripe tomatoes, you can make them look like a steak tartare. Then we've taken the, the beef heart tomato, so when it's cut open, it's got the tartare inside of it. There's a play on the cœur de boeuf, beef heart, tomato, tartare, and also we've got buffalo milk curd again in the same theme. With that, some black olives and some tomatoes. But sometimes the best thing a cook can do is just leave an ingredient alone and let it be. So what we've done is we've blanched the tomatoes um, and we've scooped out the centre. Now the centre, we've uh, pushed all the juice out of the centre, we've added some olive oil to it, we've seasoned it really well, um, put a little bit of thyme in there and then we've popped the whole tomato into the juice, submerged it in the juice and put it in the vacuum packing machine. And that's just pushed all the seasoning into the tomato. We've got uh, Matt, who's my head chef now here at Royal Hospital Road. Matt's been with us for four and a half years. Been working in our group for the last six years. Uh, so Matt's like uh, my right arm, uh, very important to the team here. This is an English buffalo milk, um, which we've infused with a little bit of thyme and rosemary, just to get a little herbaceous notes going through there. We've also put a little bit of natural yogurt just to give it some acidity. And it's been heated up to 37 degrees and we're just gonna add a little bit of vegetable rennet to that. Now to go inside the tomato, we're gonna make actually the tartare. We use 50% of tomatoes that we've sort of semi-dried in the oven and 50% of the fresh pulp of tomato. I'm gonna add some chopped shallots, some chopped cornichon. We're gonna use uh, some Parmesan. And then into the dish, we're going to put some just some marjoram again. In there, we're going to also put a little bit of uh, smoked olive oil. Now, we smoke it with uh, wood chips. And we have a little bit of pepper and salt in there. We're going to stuff that inside the tomato now. Making sure we fill all of the ribs of the tomato so when you cut into it, it's an actual entire thing. You can see how the buffalo milk curds have set solid. It's just breaking up the curds so they can go in. What we've got here is some uh, tomato hearts and then we've got our buffalo milk curds. Some of these beautiful tomato hearts. Then we've got some herbs, things that really go well, for me, go well with tomatoes, mint, basil, chives. Again, the little buds of the marjoram. We've frozen some black olives with um, liquid nitrogen and then just broken them up into this sort of crumb which is a really nice way to do it and then we're just going to pop again some of our lovely little leaves I don't believe that every plate can look identical because you're dressing it with the natural form of the ingredient now we're going to pop the tomato on we're just going to glaze it with a little bit of olive oil Okay, and then we're just going to pop the tomato on the plate. Because it's a tartare, we like to eat sort of croutons, the tartare, and this is just kind of very thin bread crisps that have been done with a little bit of clarified butter, some garlic and thyme. Keeping with the theme with the olives, we've got a little bit of black olive oil. So that's a, um, a curd above tomato tartare with buffalo milk curd and black olives. Mm -hmm.